it's my second time back, and um, I was here in 2009 with uh, two films, actually. Michael responded to uh, Harmony and Me, which is a film that we were playing at festivals at the time, but we, on a lark, sent him the movie that we'd made the year before, which had just played at South by Southwest and then had been getting turned down by a lot of festivals uh, called Registered Sex Offender, and he really responded to that film, I think, even more than Harmony and Me. Uh, so he programmed both films here, and uh, that was just amazing. We had four, you know, we had two screenings of each film, so there were four screenings, and um, and then he gave us an award, which uh, was nice. Have not had a better festival experience than at Traverse City. It. Um, the other thing is the hospitality, and I, I um, there is nothing like it uh, at any other film festival I've been to. And I know there are other festivals that pride themselves on their hospitality, but this is, is on a completely different level. And I'm really not just saying that for you. I'm, I've said it, you know, about the festival in the past to other, you know, media outlets, not just, you know, not just the film festival media outlet. Um, and I, I wonder what he says or what Deb says to the staff, like if they threaten them with violence, if they're not nice to the filmmakers. Um, this is a bigger film. I mean, it's a deliberately, it's a bigger budget than what I've ever had. And um, uh, it has Nick Offerman in it, and people really like him. And that's, I mean, that's why it got bought, because of him. So it didn't have much to do with me. Oh, that's <laughs> it's true. It's true. He's a TV star, and, and so we had a we had a much more marketable product because you can say, "Hey, you know that guy with the mustache on TV that you like? He's in this movie." No, I don't enjoy shooting the movies, um, and this was no exception. I uh, there's no pleasure really in it. I guess the thing that I respond to about it is there is some satisfaction in executing the, the, whatever you want to call it, the vision or the story or the idea. There is some satisfaction to be gained by that execution. And so if you get something, like if you're on set and you, 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 know, you have a scene that you're doing with some actors and, and that you've written and you, and you know you got it, there's some, uh, some level of satisfaction there. But I wouldn't call it pleasure. Because you're mostly guarding and defending an idea rather than any, and, and if you're guarding or defending something that, you know, is that pleasurable? I tend to alienate uh, at least half of the people who work on the movie. So we drop, you know, we tend to drop half the crew and, and half of them will re-up, you know. I've, I've made three recently, so if you do the math, you do have, have, have. You, I have like one person left, basically, yeah. who'll work with me. I'm, yeah, I think I'm in the process of alienating him also, so. I, I'll be begging Michael to bring me back, you know, as some, as like a, you know, juror or something. I'll, I will literally beg him. And I would do it right now. I would get on my knees and beg him to bring me back next year as a juror. You could test me on that. Because I won't have a film ready. I know that for a fact.